Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics. Today we have really interesting, I would say like a relaxing question, x plus y equal to 6 and x, y equal to, equal to 6 and we need to find our x and y. A lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is very easy, this is basic school question, why we solve this challenge right here. And I agree with it, this is not that hard question, this is like a relaxing question, but a lot of students are confused about this step when x plus y equal to 6 and x, y equal to 6, so addition equal to 6 and multiplication part right here equal to 6, so a lot of students confused about this step, so right now let's solve this challenge, let's see what will happen right here when we check our answers in the end of the video. So as I told before, let's rewrite our x plus y equal to 6 right here, okay, let's do this, so we have x plus y equal to equal to 6. First of all, let's express our y from here. We can easily do that. This is basic school question. We um, do the thing all the time. So we have y equal to 6 minus x. Okay, 6 minus x. And we really need this expression all the time that y equal to equal to 6 minus x. And we have the second equation, x, y equal to 6. So right now let's plug in this y instead of this y right here. So let's plug in 6 minus x instead of this, instead of this y. Let's do this right now. So right here, our our second equation x y equal to equal to 6 but y equal to 6 minus x so as a result we have x times 6 minus x 6 minus x equal to equal to 6 really great so as you can see nothing hard right here so let's solve this it looks like a quadratic equation when we open our open our parentheses so we have 6x minus x square equal to equal to 6 really great right now let's bring the fix from our right side to left side then we will create our quadratic equation let's do that thing right now but basically we can easily swap position right here because we prefer x square on the first position because it looks like a quadratic equation so we have minus x square plus 6x and minus 6 yeah equal to equal to 0 right now let's multiply both sides but let's write something like that it's better for, to understand this question a new line where is a new line okay really great let's multiply both sides by minus 1 okay when we multiply both sides by minus 1 it change nothing but then we will we will reject this minus from here because we prefer x square not like uh, minus x square okay so we have right here x square minus 6x and plus 6 equal to equal to zero as you can see this is basic quadratic equation so let's solve this quadratic equation first of all let's find our discriminant let's see what will happen maybe we'll have a complex root but let's see what will happen our discriminant equal to b square minus minus 4ac as a result b square equal to minus 6 minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 and times right here we have 24 yeah we have right here six so as a result right here we have 24 so it's it's really great so we will have like real number roots which is which is really good so we have 36 minus four times six as i told before we have 24 as a result of a discriminant equal to equal to 12 so as a result we have real number roots which is which is really great so x first and x second equal to we have right here minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over we have 2a basic school formula let's plug in this a b and c into this spot so as a result we have minus b equal to 6 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of 12 and we divide all of the thing by 2a a equal to 1 so we need to divide it by by 2 let's simplify this a little bit let's write this square root of 12 as square root of 3 times square root of 4 okay so we have 6 plus minus square root of 3 times square root of 4 yeah and we divide all the thing by by 2 right now square root of 4 equal to 2 yeah so as a result we have right here we have 6 plus minus square root of 3 times 2 yeah and we divide all of the thing by 2 and the final step for better understanding uh, this root we need to divide both elements from here by 2 so 6 by 2 as a result we have 6 divided by 2 plus minus square root of 3 times 2 and we divide by by 2 we can easily cancel these two from here and as a result we have we have right here only 3 so as a result our our roots 3 plus minus square root of 3 but these are our real number roots these are our x first and x second but in the beginning we had a substitution that y equal not like a substitution this are um, we expressed x in, uh, according to according to we expressed y according to x so right now let's plug in this x first and x second into this spot and we will have our y first and y second okay so let's write that in a new line so this this was 
our first step right here. So right now we'll let's solve this second part. This is our x first and x second. In the beginning we have that y equal to 6 minus x, okay? So we have x first equal to, uh, let's go with the plus sign for example, x first equal to 3 plus uh, square root of 3, yeah, 3 plus square root of 3. And the second one right here we have x second equal to 3 minus square root of 3. Really great. Right now let's plug in this x first and x second into this into this spot. So let's start with y first. So y first equal to 3, no right here we have 6, 6 plus, no like minus, and 3 plus square root of 3. Okay, something like that right here. And we will open our parentheses. We have y first equal to 6 minus 3 minus square root of 3, 6 minus 3 equal to 3, so we have 3 minus square root of 3. Okay, so y first equal to 3 minus square root of 3. Really great. And let's do the same thing with this uh, y second right here. Let's plug in this expression into this spot, into this spot. As a result, we have 6 minus 3 minus square root of 3, 3 minus square root of 3. It will be like a close answer to this one, but I guess we will have plus right here because we will change this sign inside parentheses. So we have y, y second equal to 6 minus 3 and plus square root of 3. Right here, 6 minus 3 equal to 3, absolutely the same step as before. And as a result, y second equal to 3 plus square root of 3. So we can easily write our final answer, but as I told before, a lot of students are confused. How will it happen when, let's write our question first of all, we have x plus y equal to 6 and x y equal to equal to 6 and a lot of students confused about it how does it happen that addition equal to 6 and multiplication equal to 6 let's check it let's check uh, in this route let's check for example x first and y first it will be the same thing with the second part but let's check only one only one solution so in the same way x first equal to 3 plus square root of 3 and y first equal to 3 minus square root of 3, okay? So we now let's check it, let's see what will happen when we plug in this, <coughs> these expressions into this spot. We do need to check this one because this is absolutely the same thing as before, we have plus minus, minus plus, it changed nothing for us, so let's check, let's prove our, let's prove our question. Okay, so we have x first plus y first equal to 6, so as a result we have 3 plus square root of 3 plus 3 minus square root of 3 equal to 6, our first equation, and the second one we have we have 3 plus square root of 3 times 3 minus square root of 3 equal to equal to 6. It's easy for us to, to solve the first one because square root of 3 minus square root of 3 equal to 0, and as a result we have 3 plus 3 equal to 6, and the same way we have uh, on the other on the other hand we have equal to 6 on the on the right side. So our first equation is is great. Right now let's solve the second one, but the second one, this is our identity. This is our school identity, a square minus b square. This is our difference of squares. So as a result, when we when we write this expression as 3 square minus square root of 3, we have square root. We can easily do this because this is our school identity, difference of squares, which is equal to, we have right here 9 minus square root of 3 to the second power equal to 3. And as a result, we have 6. So as you can see, our root is absolutely, absolutely correct. So let's write our final answer to this final answer to this question. We will have absolutely the same thing with the second part. We don't need you to check it because we will have like uh, this expression will be on the first position, this one on the second position. We change nothing. And in the same way, we have right here a subtraction on in this parenthesis, addition in this parenthesis. So basically, it changed nothing. So let's write our final answer to this question. Let's write our final answer. So we have right here two pairs of solutions. So x first and y first. x first, y first, we have the first pair of solution. And the second one, we have x second and y, y second, which is equal to the first one, we have 3 plus square root of 3, and the second one, 3 minus square root of 3. And absolutely the same roots, we have 3 minus square root of 3 and 3 plus square root of 3. These are our roots, real number roots, which is which is really great right here. So as you can see, we completely completely solved this challenge. I know that this is this is like not a hard question in terms of math. This is like a basic question. Yeah, we we don't need like to find uh, different tricks right here. This is very basic school question. But in the same way as I told before, a lot of students confused how addition equal to six and multiplication equal to the same thing. How is it how is it possible? So in this video, I hope you understand that this is absolutely a uh, possible in terms of math. So as you can see, we, we check this route and we have a great equation on both 
on both parts in the first equation and in the second in the second equation and these are our our pairs of solution so maybe a long video but i hope everyone understand why uh, is it possible how we need to solve this challenge maybe it will be like a little bit interesting when we have like complex root but as you can see we have real number root, so it, this is also really great part because a lot of these type of question have the complex root but as you can see we have we have real number root, so this is also really interesting interesting moment so thank you for your time thank you for your support thank you everyone for writing kind comments for writing your response down into the comment section write down into the comment section what do you want to see in my youtube channel i try to find really interesting questions every day and i hope you will enjoy it i hope you learn something new i hope you enjoy these videos but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel i have a lot of questions so i try i give my best to to learn to learn something new and to give this information to you to share with it you with this information so i hope you will enjoy it so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos